has the biggest influence on retention in the organization? Managers. Because when someone quits, they usually don't quit the company, they quit the manager. It's that interaction between the manager, supervisor, whatever you call them, that will either attract and keep or run them away. You know, when they call me up and says, Craig, we would love you to come speak to our executives about, about leadership in the 21st century. And we'll either be glad that the flight in the room. <laughs> At least it wasn't my zipper. <laughs> it's a determined person. We like that. A losing determined person, but she is a determined person. Mary Jane, what you gave up was a new Dell laptop computer. Now, I thought this was a conservative state. Yeah. That is, uh, drum roll, please. Mary Jane, your prize is whatever Greg picks, Greg's choice, and Greg picks a copy of his book. <laughs> <laughs> when, you have, when you know three things about Greg Smith. Number one, I am an Eagle Scout. And it's even more embarrassing when you realize I was a Lieutenant Colonel in the Army. And it's even more embarrassing when you realize I own a company named Charger Course International. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here to talk to you guys about managing change. <laughs> identify unspoken needs that their guests have. A knock on the door about 8 o'clock and I open the door. Here's Justine and in her hand a piece of chocolate cake and an icing that says happy anniversary. Now that wasn't my unspoken need but it was my wife's. That's why this one hotel in Lexington, Kentucky has something called bowling with turkeys. They don't line up the managers. No, I don't mean none. No, they, they take a 12-pound frozen turkey near Thanksgiving time, wrap it in duct tape, and then they'll line up empty wine bottles at the end of the loading dock in the back of the hotel and have a contest who could bowl the best with the frozen turkey. And whoever wins gets a real turkey for Thanksgiving. You say, well, how does that improve productivity? Well, if you're dealing with a younger workforce, they like to do things like that. And they talk about it all year long. They say, hey, can't wait till the frozen turkey contest comes along and we're going to beat customer service department. You know, they tried to beat us last year, but we're going to beat them. Those are the things that have changed today. Going back to what worked yesterday may not be the same thing that works tomorrow.